Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and today we're going to take a look at the Composite Elements Library. The Composite Elements Library is a collection of convenient and powerful pre-built elements for Oxygen. To get started using the Composite Elements Library, you need to make sure to have an active license. So let's go to Oxygen and Settings in the WordPress Admin Panel and go over to the License tab. Now, if you have an Oxygen Agency Equivalent license that you purchased prior to February 12th, 2021, then simply put your Oxygen license into the Oxygen License field, submit it, make sure it returns valid, and you'll have access to composite elements in the builder. Otherwise, if you purchased composite elements separately, then you'll have received a composite elements license key that can be used in the composite elements library license key field. Enter it there, click submit, and then you'll unlock composite elements for Oxygen. Now let's take a look at what it's like to use composite elements in the builder. The composite elements library introduces a ton of really useful and really powerful elements into Oxygen. And the beauty of these elements is one, they're served from our design set server. So if there's an issue with one of the elements, we can quickly update it. If we want to add a new element, we can do that without waiting on the release cycle of Oxygen. Or if we just want to improve one of our existing elements, we can go in and do that. And then when anybody adds the element to a new design, they get the improved version. Note that though composite elements are delivered to your site from our server when you first insert them, after they're imported to your site, there is no reliance on our design set server at all, just like design sets. So you can import it, the server could go completely offline, and you would still have all of the elements that you have already imported. The second great thing about composite elements is that they are built from basic oxygen building blocks. So when you see an element that is an icon button, that's a link wrapper with an icon in it, with some text in it, each of those individual parts can be manipulated. So let's go into the add pane and take a look at the elements that are available. You can identify composite elements by looking for the oxygen logo at the top left of the add button. Let's drop in the dashboard tabs element and just take a look at how it's built. So this is a tabs element that we've styled and laid out in a specific way to serve a purpose as tabs for a dashboard. And you can see that when we click one, we have a nice little transition that we've set up. But again, this is a tabs element, just like a tabs element you can add on your own, but it would take you some time to achieve this style and layout. If we look in the structure pane, you can see it's a tabs element. And most composite elements are going to have a code block. This is going to be for any custom styling or custom code that needs to be present for those elements to work. So we have our dashboard tabs, our tabs code, the tabs themselves, and then all these individual pieces, just like you'd expect to see with a tabs element, and then the tab content container, etc. And we could go in and we can manipulate the icon, we can manipulate the text element, just like if we build it ourselves. So in a way, composite elements is really an incredible shortcut to getting these kind of advanced layouts and advanced things built quickly. And then you can obviously modify and edit it to your needs. So let's get rid of this one. And let's drop in a mega menu element. This is one of the more exciting composites that we have at launch. A lot of folks have asked about how to build mega menus in Oxygen, and we've even published tutorials on how to build mega menus, but it can be fairly complicated to get them right. So in the composite elements library, we have one that's built for you. Note that in the composite elements, anytime you see things like links or text, these are all just placeholder items and everything can be replaced with your own content. In this case, our mega menu is just a three columns element with some links on the left side, a slider in the middle, and some links and some social media icons on the right side. Now to incorporate this with our design, we're gonna want our mega menu link, which is the link item that triggers the visibility of the mega menu container to be up in our header. So let's just go ahead and drag that up here to the right hand side of our header. And now let's save and just jump over to the front end and take a look at what that looks like. Now again, note, I've made maybe two clicks with this mega menu, one to insert it and one to drag the link. And if we hover over our link, we have this nice mega menu effect with all the oxygen elements we want inside the mega menu wrapper. So this gets you a fairly advanced piece of functionality set up really quickly out of the box and it's all built out of individual oxygen components, which means you can edit it to a really, really extensive level. 
In fact, a level that wouldn't be possible if this was a built-in element. So let's just drag this mega menu down to the bottom of our page because we don't need to look at it while we're designing. And let's drop in another element, which is the table of contents element. So the table of contents element is kind of interesting in the way that it works. You can see here that we have the basic hierarchy of a table of contents set up, but it doesn't actually have any of the um, headings from our page listed. That's because these are template items. So these are placeholders that get replaced dynamically on the front end with the actual headings and things from your page. So without changing any styling, we just drop that in and let's refresh on the front end. And now we have this table of contents that shows us our H2 elements. And if we click it, it's gonna scroll down our H3 elements, and this particular document doesn't go any deeper, but it does accommodate all the way up to H6. So if you have these complex hierarchies in your document, this table of contents element is gonna help you display a navigation for that document really, really quickly and easily. Now the composite elements are very unopinionated style-wise, but they can be styled just like any oxygen element. So if we go in here and change the style of the primary item, for example, we're gonna to wanna to go up and find the class. So in this case, we have a primary class, and this is gonna be where most of our styling comes from. Let's look at the background color, and let's just try to drop in something that will make this blend a little bit more with our design set that we're using here. So we'll go to typography and set this to white, and then we wanna change that border to uh, left, we're gonna change it to orange. So now we have styled this primary item. And if we go up here and refresh, you're gonna see that that styling persists. Same for these menu items here. We could go in and change these. Since we only have sub item one in use here because we don't have any H4, H5, or H6 elements, we'll just style that one. And let's just do something basic here. Let's make sure we have the correct class selected, which would be this sub one, and go to advanced typography, and let's just change it to a darker color. Let's do black, and then let's increase the letter spacing by one pixel, and then let's increase the font weight a bit, make it a bit heavier. Perfect, so let's save that, and then we'll look on the front end and take a look at how that template works. So we designed one item, one placeholder item, but that style, is used for all of the dynamically generated elements. Now, the elements we've looked at mostly have been more advanced elements, but we do have some really simple ones too, like a horizontal divider. So if we want a horizontal divider, we can just search for horizontal divider, drop that in, and that's gonna come in below our heading here. And again, this is built out of individual oxygen elements. So if we wanna change this icon, we just click the icon, search for the icon we want instead, we can change the color of it to something more appropriate for our design. And like that, we have a horizontal divider on our page. So you can see composite elements represents a lot of really cool possibilities for building or inserting fairly complicated elements or convenience items in a single click that can then be heavily modified to fit your needs. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's a look at the composite elements library. Thank you very much for watching.